Hey guys, this is part three of three in our video series about finding surface area of prisms and pyramids. In part one, we learned how to tell the difference between a prism and a pyramid. In part two, we learned how to find the surface area of triangular and rectangular prisms. And in this third and final part, we are going to learn how to find the surface area of rectangular pyramids and triangular pyramids using our nets method. Let's begin. So we start off by drawing our net, which is basically we draw the shape uh, unfolded. So we start by drawing our base. In this case, our base is a rectangle. So we're going to draw a rectangular base. Now, because our base has four sides, that means we should have four triangular sides as well. So we're going to draw the front side, the right side, the back side over here, and our left side, which is right over here. So this is going to help us find the surface area for a rectangular pyramid. When we have a triangular pyramid, the, met, the net looks something like this. We draw our base first, which is a triangle, and then we draw our sides. Because a triangle has three sides, uh, because the base has three sides, we should have three triangular sides as well. So here is the front. And then here is the side, and here is the other side. So let's go ahead and start with some examples. We're going to start out with this rectangular pyramid. We're going to make a net of it, and then we're going to use this net to find the surface area. Let's start by finding the area of the base. Now, if we remember, the area of a rectangle is base times height. We do know the base, so replace the B with 9. We also know the height, which is 9 as well, so replace h with 9. So area equals 9 times 9, which is 81 meters square. Write 81 right in there. Next, we need to find the sides. Now, thankfully, all of our sides are going to be the same. It's got a base of 9, and it's got a height of 14. So area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2, or half of base times height. So A equals B. The B, in this case, is 9. So replace B with 9. And then our height is 14. So replace H with 14. And we're going to bring down the divided by 2. 9 times 14 is 126. Bring down the divided by 2. And 126 divided by 2 is 63 meters square. So in these triangles, because all of these triangles are the same, you're just going to write 63 in all of them. Now we know the surface area of the base and all four sides. So we just add them up. 81 plus 63 plus 63 plus 63 plus 63 again. You add it all up, and you should get 333 meters squared. And that's our final answer. Let's try one last example. We're going to make a net of this triangular pyramid and use the net to find the surface area. Again, a triangular pyramid has a triangular base. So we're going to find that area first. So area of a triangle is base times height divided by 2. We know the base. It's 10. A lot of numbers here. Don't get confused. But the base is 10. And then the height, which is this segment right here, it says this height is 8 meters, so replace h with 8. We're going to divide that by 2. So 10 times 8 is 80. Divide that by 2, we should get 40 meters squared. Write that for our base. All right, let's find the triangular sides now. So it is a triangle, so write down our formula. Area equals base times height divided by 2. The base of this triangle is 10 meters. Replace B with 10. The height is this segment right here. It's 12 meters, so replace H with 12. We're going to divide that by 2. 10 times 12 is 120. Divided by 2 is going to be 60 meters squared. So write 60 in all three of those sides. Now we add up the sides. 40 for the base plus 60 plus 60 plus 60, and that should get you 220 meters squared. And that's our final answer. So now you know how to find the surface area of a rectangular and triangular pyramid.